Hi everybody, this is Gary Fong, and I'm doing this video to answer probably the most crucial uh, question during the holiday season is how do I get photographs underneath the Christmas tree that look halfway decent? Many of you will probably receive DSLRs for the holidays and will take those early photos and be very disappointed in the photographs underneath the tree, and I'll tell you why. There's a couple technical reasons that make it very difficult for most DSLRs to take photos under the tree. Number one reason is that most DSLRs owned by non-professionals have lenses that are not very fast or efficient. In other words, the hole going through the lens is small, and with a smaller hole, less light comes in. That means that you need to increase the shutter speed longer in order to get any decent light in the photograph. If you don't do that, then of course your photograph will be too dark. So most of the time people put their cameras on say 800 or 1600 mode, which would be suggested for indoors. But even in a situation like that, if you were to try to handhold your camera during a photo like that, you would have a very slow shutter speed, something like maybe a 10th or a 20th of a second or even maybe slower, as you can see in this example. And what winds up happening is that when you're trying to handhold the camera like that, you'll get blur. So handheld, uh, you will have motion and then uh, you've got yourself a problem. So no, step number one to fix that is to put it on a tripod or something steady. And that way you'll be able to get enough exposure into the room at a de decent ISO without having uh, any blurriness. But that doesn't solve the problem of having the people in your photograph. The people in the photograph, if your camera is rock solid stationary, they will move during the time that that shutter's open and that they will then be blurred. And the only way to fix that would be to give them a very quick blitz, a little spit of flash. So the first thing we would like to do after putting the camera on a tripod would be to put on a flash unit. So flash unit typically looks like this. And that's why when you take a photograph with a flash unit, it looks like the tree is completely blown out. And the reason that is, is because this looks like a flashlight. And therefore, the photo is completely overpowered by that very, very flat light. What I did was when I designed the light sphere is I wanted to make something that resembled a lampshade indoors. This is the new generation five light sphere, which fits really nicely on all flashes, including this massive uh, Nikon SB900. You can see how strong the, uh, the grip is, and I just put it on that that easily. Very excited about the Generation 5. But what's nice about having the uh, lampshade inside for flash is that it sends light completely around the room. You'll notice no matter how we look at it, the light is the same completely around. So what happens is it lights the room completely in a sphere, which is why it's called a light sphere. Using the light sphere, you will then eliminate that harsh look on your subject and make a much softer photograph. The last and final step would be then to put your camera on manual mode. The reason why you put your camera on manual mode rather than say, for example, program or automatic mode is that manual mode will allow you to change the shutter speed and the opening of the uh, lens, the aperture or the f-stop. Remember, the lower the number of the f-stop, the bigger that opening. So you'll want to then go into manual mode, turn that uh, f-stop until it goes down to the lowest number, f4 uh, is uh, bigger than f5.6 for example, and then you'll want to take that shutter speed and slow it down to something like maybe 1 45th of a second. Not too slow that people will then blur. And then put your flash on what's called TTL mode. TTL mode is automatic. In other words, remember just TTL means complete auto. And it actually does work. It works very well, so well that most professionals uh, will use some form of TTL when shooting event photography. So those are the basic steps. Camera, on T a flash on TTL, camera on manual, using a light sphere, using a flash, and higher ISO like 800, 1600. Uh, even on the modern cameras, you can go up to 3200 and get a very beautiful ambiance in your uh, Christmas holiday decor. Okay, so remember, subscribe to my channel because our, subscri our subscribers always get fresh crack at the brand new content. Okay, thank you very much. Wazzy, allez s'asseoir en face de l'arbre. Come on. And then you can have a photo. Ah, photo. Yay! Good. Okay, to the monde. Oh, babies. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, well. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, tell them on. Is it going? Mm -hmm. It is? Is it straight on time? <laughs> Yay! <laughs>